Okay. Hey, everybody. I'm Jacqueline Portalise. I'm a photography related gear and software reviewer for ShotKit. Uh, I really love talking to photographers about tools that can improve our workflows. But today we're going to look at something a little bit different than usual. Um, I don't know about you, but one of my favorite things to do at the beginning of a year is to just go through and like totally clean my life. I deep clean my apartment, my car, and most importantly, at least to me, my computer. Um, and instead of formatting completely like I usually do, this year I'm trying out this sweet program called Clean My Mac, which just recently dropped version X. So what's Clean My Mac? Well, believe it or not, this tool is going to, you guessed it, clean my Mac, and it's going to look great doing it. Um, it's like totally gorgeous and not only is going to clean it up, but it's going to make sure that I keep it clean. It just runs in the background and helps keep our system clean, meaning faster culling and faster editing for us photographers. And it's got everything from like junk management to malware detection and removals and a few other really rad features that I'm going to totally get into in this review. Version X in particular introduces an updated assistant with a timely recommendations displayed in the main menu and extended statistics of your experience with the app. Um, it's also uh, in the uninstaller, it's gonna show those iPad and iPhone apps on your M1 Max. And it's also got enhanced network monitor stability and faster malware removal times. Um, there's so much to unpack here. I'm really excited to go over the sweet tool with you guys. So uh, we'll just go ahead and take a quick look at each one of these features here. At the very tip top, we've got the smart scan. Uh, this is going to give our Mac a nice thorough scan. It's gonna go through all three panels, cleanup, protection, and speed at the click of a button. Um, it's gonna tell us how much I need to junk we have, look for any malware related threats that may be on our computer and recommend some things that we can do to optimize the speed of our Mac. So if we wanna go a little bit deeper, we can actually look at these panels manually and work from there. Um, this cleanup section has the system junk tool that will optimize our system by removing temporary files. What this is gonna do is basically help us free up space and in turn make our computers run faster. Um, I just upgraded to the R5 and my photos are now like a million megapixels. So at this point, I'll take all the help I can get when it comes to file management. We can also manage our mail attachments and empty our trash bins right from the app. Totally all in one place, very sweet. Moving on to the protection section, this thing has malware detection and removal. Uh, this lets us scan our Macs for malware and I am proud and relieved to say that I am squeaky clean. Uh, we also have this really neat privacy section. What's really cool about this is we can scan and remove traces of our like browsing history from our web browsers. What this is going to do is basically sweep all our history and cookies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's also going to sweep our download history, autofill data, and saved passwords. Um, I love this because I can just do it all at once, right, and clean my Mac instead of like digging for the delete tool in Google Chrome. And like, I mean, look at this. I've got like... 47,000 random files just sitting here that I had no idea existed and I can just remove them all right from the app. I'm so stoked about that. <laughs> in the speed section, we also have these optimization tools. It'll show us like our login items that we have. So Dropbox is always logging in when I turn on my computer. Uh, this launch agent is exceptionally useful. There are a ton of applications that may be set to run at startup, meaning that even when we're not using the apps, they just kind of hang out in the background the second we switch on our device. That can totally put a burden on our processors, but thankfully Clean My Mac allows us to manage that all right here in one place. So these are the items on my computer that turn on right away. Um, I know, you know, for a fact that some of these I don't necessarily need running, so I can go ahead and check off these boxes and uh, set to remove them, and it'll just turn them off for me. Ta-da! <laughs> Clean My Mac can also monitor our Mac's health based on our hard disk condition and offer us a list of recommendations and maintenance related tasks that we can run. So we can select, you know, one or all of these and, and select to run it. And then basically the system will go in and work its beautiful unicorn magic and it will say, hooray, your Mac should now run smoother. Okay, now that we've gone through all of the, um, the main cleanup things, we can actually go in and manage our applications. This uninstaller section is really sweet. It basically is gonna show us a list of our applications and allow us to correctly uninstall them completely right from Clean My Mac. 
This isn't something you probably need to look at too often, but if you ever wanna completely scrub an application from your Mac, iPhone, or iPad, you can go here and do it in confidence. We can also see the latest updates for our devices and just do all that right from here. And then there's also this extensions panel, which shows us all the unnecessary plugins we may have. Like I have no idea what iBooks author importer for Spotlight is. And considering I don't do a whole lot of reading, I'm sure I can remove it and be just fine. <laughs> okay, I gotta show you guys Space Lens now, which is super sweet. This is actually one of the latest additions to clean my Mac and it lets us compare all of our files and folders in this like beautiful way. Um, this feature is going to nearly instantly scan our system and see what's taking up the most space. And it's like totally gorgeous. Look how fast that was. It's gonna show your all of your folders here that are taking up the most space. Um, the bigger ones are obviously taking up more space than the smaller ones. Simply clicking on one of these folders will, will take you right there and you can go kind of manually remove stuff. This is totally awesome if you're just kind of in a hurry and you need to go see what's dominating your hard drives and, and delete some stuff manually and move some other things around. We also have this large and old file thing. Um, I totally love this because it's identifying all of these old files we haven't really accessed in a while that are just taking up space and gives us the option to delete them right here. Some of these things like I didn't even know <laughs> still existed on my machine. Um, and I love that I can just manage all of these things right here. Okay, last feature, and I swear I'll stop talking. This is the shredder. Uh, the shredder is going to help us really delete our files that we have thrown in the trash. And I mean, really, um, a computer never really deletes our files that we tell the trash to empty. It always just kind of like leaves traces of them behind unless it's overwritten by something else later on. And the shredder basically helps us ensure that those traces are blown to smithereens for good. So that is basically it for Clean My Mac. Um, that was pretty much all the bells and whistles. This app interface is seriously beautiful and it's so easy to use. I mean, it's like there's zero learning curve whatsoever. Um, and if you ever do need help, their customer service is available via both tickets and live chat, which I totally love. I'm definitely excited to have it on my system to help me keep things clean and running smoothly so I can in turn edit these big, gigantic image files that I'm now going to be dealing with at a reasonable speed. So pricing wise, Clean My Mac is actually pretty cheap. Uh, it costs about 35 bucks for one device, which is pretty much peanuts for all it's gonna do for you. There's a few other plans you can get as well if you have multiple devices. Overall, it's a fantastic value for your money. Like I, time is money. And if this is gonna make my computer run faster so I can get things done quicker, I am more than happy to drop 35 bucks on it. So yeah, what do you think? Uh, do you use Clean My Mac? Do you have anything that you want to put in the comments below? I always encourage you guys to tell me what you think about these tools. Um, I like to hear your opinions. Hopefully this review is exciting to some and enlightening to many, and that it helps anyone who may have been on the fence about purchasing Clean My Mac make a worthwhile decision. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you next time I get really stoked about a new photography-related tool.